Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this 2022 Chevy Camaro LT1. This one does have the 6.2 naturally aspirated V8 and it is connected to a six speed manual transmission. And this thing sounds amazing. It does have two packages. It does have the rear uh, deck lip or deck lid uh, spoiler and it does have the uh, performance exhaust. Basically, it's a thousand dollar option. But let's go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how it does. So here is the interior of this 2022 Chevy Camaro LT1 and uh, honestly it looks good. So this is the base V8 you could get and uh, with this performance exhaust it seriously sounds amazing. But let's go ahead and take this Camaro on a test drive and see how it does. Here is the backup camera backup camera looks good and by the way I did actually do a full review so if you guys are interested in seeing a full review of this uh, Camaro make sure you check it out uh, it should be on my channel very very soon So driving this 2022 Chevy Camaro LT1 <laughs> sounds amazing with this exhaust. It is a $1,000 um, option you could choose on the Camaro and honestly, I really, really like it. There is just a ton of pops and crackles from this exhaust. Um, but yeah, so for 2022, um, nothing was changed. And uh, actually, this is the last year that Chevy will be making the Camaro. So if you guys are interested in buying a Camaro, make sure you guys buy uh, the 22 if you want something new. Um, but yeah, seriously, this thing sounds amazing. It looks good from the outside and the inside. There is a good amount of plastic here and there but honestly it's something that you don't touch so um, that's fine AC vents look good and uh, yeah seriously guys this thing just sounds honestly amazing and uh, it's not even sport mode but when you put it in sport mode Actually, nothing changes so not a big fan of that I really wish that the exhaust had like a butterfly valve uh, I think it would have been nice and it does handle very good um, you definitely could feel the weight I'm not sure if you guys could hear this, but there is a ton of pops and crackles from the exhaust. And uh, this thing definitely gets up to speed very, very quick. And uh, talking about speed, under the hood there is a 6.2 naturally aspirated uh, V8. It is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. And this six-speed automatic transmission is very easy to drive. Yeah, definitely very easy to drive. And uh, 
the clutch is right in the middle so driving this car is not tricky at all suspension is a little bit on the stiffer side but that's completely fine and uh, As I said guys, it gets up to speed very very quick and if you guys are curious about the horsepower numbers and the torque numbers, they are 455 horses and 455 pound-feet of torque, so definitely a good amount of power uh, from this 6.2 and uh, there's just power every single gear which is amazing honestly I just turned on the rev match <laughs> so when you downshift it basically um, revs the engine more um, and uh, <laughs> it just sounds much much better with the rev match on uh, but yeah, seriously guys, the interior looks good. It does have a seven inch uh, screen. I really wish that the screen was a little bit bigger, but it's no big deal. And I really wish that this Camaro had at least emergency braking. It is 36,000. And I think this is a very good price. This exhaust just sounds honestly amazing, guys. feel nice and solid and uh, yeah definitely a very very responsive car and something that I really don't like is the fact that the blind spot is very bad in this Camaro so not a big fan of it but <laughs> this car is definitely fun to drive guys this exhaust just sounds amazing it is definitely worth the $1,000 option but uh, other than that this Camaro is nice and comfortable the seats are nice and comfortable and uh, the only thing that I really don't like about it is the fact that the windows are small it feels like you're driving in basically a tank but uh, this 6.2 seriously sounds amazing The exhaust just sounds good. Higher speeds, lower speeds, higher RPMs, low RPMs. <laughs> yeah, definitely this thing would put a smile on your face. And um, I haven't driven an e manual in a year, so I'm a little bit rusty, but as I said, this thing is very, very easy to um, drive. It is a big car, but honestly, once you drive it, it doesn't feel like it's that big. Um, for 36,000, uh, I think you're getting a perfect car. And the fuel economy numbers are very, very good. Uh, they are 16 in the city, 24 highway, and 19 combined. And uh, yeah, I really am impressed with the fuel economy numbers. And of course the Camaro only comes in rear wheel drive and you could get uh, three different engines you could get the four cylinder v6 and you could get the, you could get this 6.2 but if you get the ZL1 version of the Camaro it will come with a uh, supercharged uh, 6.2 which sounds much better than this one but this one I think sounds really really good and uh, yeah 455 horses 455 pound-feet of torque We'll get this Camaro moving. I am in sixth gear, 
and uh, even when it being on the sixth gear, <laughs> there's just power everywhere, and uh, I really like that. Brakes feel nice and solid, and this Camaro actually does have Brimble brakes, which is really, really good for 36,000. I think that's actually very, very good. Um, as I told you guys, the clutch feels nice and light, and uh, the grabbing point is perfect. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference between Sport and Tour. There's just a ton of pops and crackles. I'm pretty sure that it's really hard for you guys to hear it over the camera, but seriously, you hit the gas a little bit and then you let go and there's just so much. seriously sounds amazing and uh, for this is the last year that Chevy will make the Camaro so it, it is going to be discontinued but uh, I really really like this uh, Camaro As I told you guys, this thing will definitely put a smile on your face and uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and test the turning radius uh, in this camera and see how it does. It is in normal mode. And actually the turning radius is very, very good. So I am very impressed with the turning radius. Definitely the rear wheels spun, but uh, yeah guys, this thing is seriously fun to drive. So, steering wheel is wrapped in leather, it is flat bottom design, and uh, AC vents look actually very nice. Um, the AC controls are very easy to use. <laughs> um, as I told you guys, the brakes feel very nice and solid, and the uh, steering wheel is very nice and direct. Let's go ahead and put it in sport mode. Let's see. It does get heavy, but not really. I can't really tell the difference. Maybe taking it around corners or taking sharp turns. Maybe you'll be able to tell that. Uh, uh, you could be able to tell the um, weight of the steering wheel when you put it in sport mode. Um, um, as I said, there's a good amount of plastic um, in this uh, Camaro, but uh, it sounds good. Just only this engine by itself just honestly sounds amazing. And this six-speed automatic transmission is beautiful. I think you could get a 10-speed automatic transmission um, in the LT1 uh, trim. So I had so much fun driving this uh, Camaro and uh, seriously this thing just <laughs> sounds amazing and uh, 
it is definitely fun to drive and uh, I'm not sure how it sounds like without uh, the $1,000 exhaust option but uh, I really really like the sound of this uh, 6.2 and um, the ZL1 will sound even louder than this but uh, I hope you guys liked uh, this video. I would like to thank uh, Michael for providing me his personal car. And if you guys are interested in asking him uh, questions about his personal car, I'm gonna go ahead and leave his information in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.